Hey guys, Brandon Lee with Virtualization How To. Hope you guys are doing well. Today we're going to talk about an important subject, DNS. If you're like me, you have multiple DNS services in your home lab. But today we're going to discuss one of the most popular that performs many functions, and that is Pi-hole. Now, how do you make Pi-hole highly available in your home lab network? Uh, for DNS resolution. Well, stick around today. We're going to discuss various methods as well as a new method that I am using in my home lab to integrate Pi-hole services with Active Directory. Well, as we mentioned in the outset, Pi-hole is a great solution. I run it in the home lab and it performs many great uh, services uh, that you can take advantage of to block malicious websites, advertising, uh, unwanted telemetry data. Now for years in the enterprise, one of the easiest ways to make something highly available is to simply have more than one instance of that service. So instead of running one Pi-hole instance, I have a Pi-hole instance in a virtual machine in the home lab, which you see behind me, as well as running on a physical Raspberry Pi device. Now, that gives me the resiliency that if the home lab goes down, if my rack of equipment goes down for whatever reason, uh, I lose my virtual cluster, I still have DNS services available. So what I want to do is show you guys a script that I have written that I'm taking advantage of in my home lab that allows dumping the DNS records to a file, moving that file to the Pi-hole server, and then actually integrating those records into the Pi-hole local DNS uh, instance. So if you guys notice, um, I've got the Windows 10 workstation pulled up. I've got DNS configured. I've got it pointed to the internal Pi hole address. Now I want to uh, resolve something internally. So let's, for instance, ping uh, my vCenter server. So let's see what happens. I can't resolve it. Um, this is because I am pointing to the Pi hole server. It knows nothing about cloud.local. So instead of using the internal forwarder, what if I want to take Windows Server Active Directory DNS records and synchronize those records to the Pi hole? So the added benefit of this is I leave Windows Server DNS as is. I'm not changing that configuration. All of my dynamic registrations that happen through Active Directory that Pi-hole cannot handle, I'm leaving those as is. So all of my clients, my servers, they can continue to dynamically register themselves with Active Directory DNS. However, what if I want to synchronize that? Well, let's, let's look. Let's see how we can effectively do this. So what I have on the screen is just a kind of a crude script that I, I banged out this week uh, in uh, PowerShell and the idea here is that we want to dump Active Directory DNS to a file that Pi-hole can read for custom DNS and by default it, there is such a file and it's known as custom.list file uh, that it can read from in the Etsy Pi-hole directory. So I'm going to show you guys uh, what the script does. Uh, so I'm essentially just setting a file name that I want to write to, which is custom.list. I'm setting the domain name that I want to dump. So if I've got a DNS server that hosts multiple domains, I can selectively choose which domain that I'm dumping. Uh, and then also an SCP password. So what this is going to be, on the Pi-hole instance, I have just an underprivileged user, a non-sudo uh, account, connects to the Pi-hole server, copies the custom.list over. Then on the Pi-hole server, we have a cron job that picks this custom.list file up and places it into and overwrites the file that's already there. It then picks up all of the new DNS records or changes in DNS moves those over to the Pi-hole, Pi-hole picks it up, 
integrates it into its own copy of local DNS, it essentially performs a backup of your DNS records and allows you to control and have those DNS records in a completely separate environment so that if that DNS server goes down, your Pi-hole uh, servers can pick up that uh, DNS name resolution uh, role. And then again, if you're running something like Gravity Sync, uh, you can take this dump file, override it on your primary Pi-hole server, then Gravity Sync essentially synchronizes that to your secondary server, which, it, which may be a physical uh, Raspberry Pi device or another virtual machine in a separate environment, however you want to do that. So now what I have is uh, the script ready to run and I'm gonna show you guys what happens. I've got a, uh, this is my Pi -hole, uh, primary Pi -hole server that I have up and running. I've got a DNS copy user created. The home directory is already created, so it's ready to go. And I just wanna show you guys there's nothing here. We're gonna go back to our uh, script and we're going to run this script. And we're gonna let the script run and let's pop back over, refresh our uh, DNS copy directory, and here we see something new. We've got a custom.list file. So if I open the custom.list file, I see DNS records from Active Directory DNS server. How do I get that custom list uh, file to where it needs to go? Very, very simple shell script. Uh, so essentially what we're doing is in the root account, I've set up a cron job to call this import dot or import DNS dot sh script. And with this script, what we're doing is we're simply catting this uh, DNS copy custom dot list file into the Etsy pihole custom dot list uh, file. So if I move back over to Etsy, let's go to pihole and we look at the custom.list file, as you can see, blank, nothing in there. And let's just, uh, let's clear, let's list, and let's run the import dns.sh script. Now, what does that do? Pi-hole directory, we can look at the custom.list file, and we have DNS records. Now, did it do anything? Well, let's go back to our machine. And as we could see before, could not find bcsa.cloud.local. Let's just simply up arrow. And we have a ping response. So the cron job picks up the custom.list file, moves it over, cats it into the custom.list of the pi hole. So the other part of that import dns.sh script restarts DNS services on the pi hole, which is super fast. So after that runs, then we uh, will see name resolution uh, start to be successful. So a uh, pretty nifty way to uh, essentially synchronize, integrate pi hole into your Active Directory infrastructure. What do you think about this solution to synchronize uh, your Pi-hole local DNS with Active Directory DNS records? For me, this helps to solve an issue that I have had in the home lab for some time. And for my purposes in the home lab, I wanted something that would provide the resiliency between home lab services and the Pi-hole infrastructure, which I have stood up in conjunction with other solutions out there that are open source, such as Gravity Sync, then the Active Directory script is able to pull those DNS records over to the Pi-hole infrastructure. That allows the Pi-holes to be a secondary set of DNS servers that can start resolving many of those home lab services that I have currently handled by Active Directory. Tell me what you're doing in your home lab, in your home network for DNS resolution, resiliency. Uh, how are you handling some of these problems in your environment? So I'm Brandon Lee with Virtualization How To. Well, hopefully you found this video uh, helpful. If you have, please uh, hit like uh, on the video and please do subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys soon.